temporary messages. For visa and passport services, press 1. For consular services for British nationals, press 2. For you, you are being transferred to consular services. Yes, uh, my name is Spencer Littlewood and I've been sending lots of emails about the political injustice which is being committed against me by the Singaporean government on multiple counts. I have received no answer, but I called on Friday, unfortunately after yeah. 5 o'clock, and uh, the very nice man at the operator. Well, can you repeat your name for me, sir? My name is Mr. Spencer Littlewood. Spencer Littlewood. Yeah, middle okay. name Leonard. Leonard. And you're a British, British, you're a British na uh, national, obviously, yeah? Yes, of course. Okay, and so you, you've sent emails regarding the political injustice, did you say? Yes. Um, the Singaporean authorities? Yes. Uh, the last okay. email I made will have been the first one that m will have probably been understandable because uh, it's very complex, plus I, I suffer from ADHD, so I'm, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. Uh, and so um, I over explain things and so and okay. also been forwarding forwarding uh, mails which okay. I've been mailing to the courts and to the to the Singaporean authorities various authorities just for right. transparency because uh, I also believe that they are going to put they are persecute trying to persecute me and so I'm afraid that they're going to actually try and commit something to prevent me from getting to my goal uh, if I can come Which to the, what, sir? <coughs> uh, come to the point of what the injustice is, so just so, so that you know what the, what the issue is, um, they are manipulating. They're first of all refusing my right to be heard and ignoring me in a court case, with the intention that the whole strategy of the things they are doing is to avoid their country entering into one, the annual United Nations report on the cases of international parental child abductions in member states and signatory states. And secondly... Is, is, um, that, is that your issue, sir, that you have a, a, child, um, yeah. a, a child custody case? That's right, uh, which I actually, I, I filed a Guardianship of Infants Act case because the Hague, although, are you aware of the Hague Convention? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, thank you. Uh, that's easier then. Um, uh, I tried through the central authorities of Thailand and also through Singapore. Uh, Thailand were helpful, but uh, they couldn't because there's still not signatory states. Because although Thailand exceeded in 2006 and I believe Singapore in 2010, they haven't approached each other yet. So I was foiled with that. So I therefore... Uh, filed a Guardianship of Infants Act case under the Constitution of Singapore, which the judge then threw out uh, and then claimed after I complained and threatened to sue the judge, complained. Uh, um, my lawyer resigned because he perjur perjuriously made statements, which I have evidence of, and the judge also perjured herself and himself, two judges, uh, saying that I had given in a status conference which was not dealing with my Guardianship of Infants Act case, which never got a hearing. A uh, very vague conversation was made and asking to withdraw uh, statements of particulars in a divorce case. I, I had, for, Sorry, I filed Guardianship of Infants Act case. Uh, my lawyer filed it, then he was told, no, they don't want to hear that because the wife, the mother of the abductor, uh, filed a divorce and custody case as an evasion strategy. The, the judge took that and gave a date for that. We had a conference, a FDR conference, CRFC conference, mediation, uh, which I attended. And in that, 
which was only addressing the divorce case on the notice to attend. I uh, was only addressing that case. There was no way it could have referred to the Guardianship of Infants Act case I filed. A very vague conversation, something like, oh, there are some silly statements in the statements of particulars which if both sides can mutually withdraw, we can address this issue and, and get faster to the, to the end of it. So my lawyer nodded at me, her lawyer nodded at her, and we closed the session. I then assumed, okay, we'll file out the details of what is precisely to be removed afterwards. I then wrote to the court and my lawyer saying, okay, so now we've had that her divorce case hearing, when am I getting my Guardianship of Infants Act hearing, which is the only way to address the, the abduction. And the judge said, oh, you've thrown it out, you gave me permission. Now you can't, uh, and, and so uh, I told my lawyer I'm going to sue him because... Yes, so you say you've been misrepresented. Uh, yes, and uh, since then uh, the court has been holding sessions and hearings with me as a defendant uh, without informing me, without answering any of my mails. Mm -hmm. and so Okay. Oh, quite a while ago, but because he's Singaporean, although the habitual state of residence was here, because he's Singaporean, the cons the consulate or the person where, I spoke where to... Where are you now, then? I'm in Thailand, and so the, the habitual place of residence was Thailand. Uh, oh, here's a very important point, and here's where, also... Where have you been sending your email? To Thailand or to, to Singapore? To Singapore consulate. To Singapore consulate. Uh, and also... I, 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 Right, that's why, yeah. Um, I have to add something very important I forgot. That the abduction was assisted by a consular officer of Singapore here in Thailand who lied to me, saying that she is al the mother is allowed to take the child without my consent or knowledge because he's Singaporean, which is of course a lie under Thai family law, Singaporean constitution and The Hague. And so that's why it's political, because the abduction was actually aided and abetted by the Singaporean government. I sent a link in the emails which shows a 60 minutes uh, documentary about how the Australians slipped up because they assisted uh, an Italian from Italy, such a Hague abduction, and they had to return the child in the end. It was a political incident. And so I believe this consular officer who yeah. lied, he Mr. wasn't Lincoln, aware. Just hold the line. Thank you. Yeah. Th thank you. because you're actually in Thailand, um, there's very little what we can do. Uh, you know, this is actually a legal matter where you would have to obviously take the correct um, legal um, advice uh, and use a lawyer to, to assist your cause. Uh, I've been doing that, but the court, uh, as you know, probably now, Singapore have a restriction of... Uh, the, the lawyers are afraid, and that's basically... I've spent $30,000, $20,000 on this already. And uh, the judge uh, threw it out. The judge told the lawyer, didn't let the lawyer uh, get that case heard. And so that's a no-no, that's impossible. If I go to Singapore, they're going to persecute me. And because a Singaporean consular officer assisted in the abduction, I'm sorry, but it's not a legal matter. The court case is, you can't help me with that. 
I'm not calling about that. I'm calling because they've made a slip up and they assisted in the abduction. And that is something you do have to help in. But um, of course, this telephone call is not official and binding. So I was just calling to to see how you're going to react to see if you're going to help me or if I'm going to have to appear at the at the High Commission with lawyers and affidavits filed in, through in, all in the... In Singapore or in Thailand? Yeah, I earn about 20,000 here in, in Singapore. In, in Singapore because Thailand the British consulate is corrupt and uh, they won't help uh, but you have to help because I've spent the last two years of this abduction studying the Hague studying international United Nations and the world Commi United Nations World Commission on the rights of the child which they also have to answer to every year yeah, well, what I would recommend that you do then sir okay is, is, uh, is send your uh, resend a yeah. I have done. And requesting help, okay? I have done. Really, I have done. That we can do about it. Uh, miss, I have sent many emails and I haven't received a single answer. But what I'm, what I'm saying is you need to keep your email very concise and to Right, point. I, I understand that. So if so I... need to be short and concise and to the point, yeah. sir, so that we can understand the I basis know, of I... what your request is. Which is why I explained that about the ADHD, because uh, it makes me yes. over... I'm very sorry about that. It's, it's my condition. So what I'll do is I'll get a lawyer to file an affidavit and I'll send it to you per EMS with signing. Okay. Because an email okay. is not official. And, but yes. I will try to do as you ask with the email. Yes. But um, I understand that uh, it's very hard to understand why you should have to help me. And I, I understand your protocols. I've studied them. I've downloaded and studied them for employees of consulates. And I know how you have to check through your lists. And if I can't complete everything on your tick box list, then you can't help me. And so I do understand the yes. bureaucracy. And, 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 yes, uh, uh, we, have, we do have restrictions. I know. We are, we are, we are not able to do Right. That. And, and you're in another, I've started to understand that mm -hmm. you are not powerful in other countries. You are commissions no. and you're... No, no, no. We have no jurisdiction over right. the local authorities in our home country. That so, is absolutely so. Through this, I've, I've really All understood right. uh, that. So I'll try my I best would, to I help I you. I to reset your email, keeping it more concise All right. to the point, exactly what you're requesting. Okay. I will try my I best to... I wish you the very best of luck with that, sir. You're obviously having a very difficult time. I understand All you. Right. I, okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm on. Have a I'm, good day, sir. You too. Thanks for your call. Thank you very bye much. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thank you, Ah. Uh. So...